Yeah. Hola. Hi, Samantha. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? I'm good. How are oh, you? Oh, bien. ¿Y tú? <laughs> good. <laughs> we could do Spanglish. Podemos yeah. hacer ambos. No problem. Um, so it's super exciting that you pretty much opened your organization to get a, a picture of what is going on out in the wildlife in this documentary, Wildcat. Mm -hmm. Yes, so what was... what made you open open yourself? Um, oof, that's that's a loaded question. I think you know, <laughs> for me, it's always been you know how do we show these kind of larger issues? And over time, you know, Oja Nueva has developed. You know, we do rewild individual animals. We have over sixteen cats in our care right now. It's a huge effort to put animals back into the wild. But you know, as we grow and work with you know on the national scale with go governments and everything it always comes back to how do we address those root causes and the kind of core issues of wildlife trade and trafficking and why why there's such a demand both, both nationally in Peru for wild animals as pets and internationally. And so for me, I mean, this film is, is a great platform to be able to speak about those larger issues and why we received Khan and Keanu in the first place. Now you were one of those subjects that was, I feel, keeping it together. You had a big, <laughs> you know, you had a big plate to sustain, I mean, here you are trying to finish your master's, you're trying to help Harry, you're trying to get this organization going. Um, watching the documentary, where did you realize, wow, I did it? Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's hard to kind of see. I mean, the documentary in itself is is pretty much like an origin story, you know, of, of me and my work in Peru and of Oja Nueva. And so it's, it's always like, I think it's, it's hard to kind of get off the runway for a lot of people. You know, if when you're passionate about something, building something from, you know, the ground floor up, um, I do feel like, you know, I've always kind of been a person that it does okay with managing, juggling multiple things and having my, my hands full, as you would say. Um, I'm glad that you thought I managed it well. Sometimes it didn't feel that way. Um, but I think we all have our, our moments and our limits and our boundaries. And, and, you know, for me, it was, you know, I knew exactly why I was there and what I wanted to do. And it sometimes was hard to get to that point, but, um, you know, excited to, to share that in, in life and at OHA, we're, we're at that point now where I kind of always imagined we would be, and we're able to save so many cats and more animals and, and do things entirely differently than what you see in the film, to be fair. I have to admit, this is the first documentary that has, has made me cry so much. I was bawling my eyes out. Did you feel that way at any moment when you watched it yourself? I mean, that's actually a good question. I, I, I don't watch the documentary because even the, like, the music, the beautiful music that they created for it, the soundtrack, it just makes me remember everything and just like completely break down. So I don't actually <laughs> watch it from start to finish all the time. I've only seen it one and a half times. Um, but you know, it's, it, it is painful. I think there's so much about everything that was in that film that was super painful at the time and, and, um, is sometimes difficult to look back on. And, um, and, you know, I just have to look at it as, an origin story and a learning experience and, you know, everything that I was able to, to take from it um, to kind of create what it is today. What's next for you? Cause I mean, right now you, you, you have thought, but that you're, you're controlling, but what's your like next mission? Because you're like superwoman out in the wildlife. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, we've reached this point. We have the first ever kind of specialized carnivore rehabilitation and rescue center. Um, with the purpose of rewilding these 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 carnivores and beyond. I mean, we have everything at this point, but um, and I think for me it was reaching that scale of working with local and national governments, trying to address the root causes, like I said. And there's so much work that needs to be done in that realm. So I think for me, you know, I really want to limit the amount of it. I, I would like to be put out of a job. I don't want to be receiving the quantity of animals that I receive every month. And it's and because that's also like a huge part of this. It is a very emotional, painful thing to see the situations that these animals come from and and why they're there. And I think, you know, hopefully with through this film and being able to kind of be a voice for for those issues and for um, for those animals, I think it's you know, it's huge. And beyond that, I think, you know, it, it goes to educating the public in a way about you know, on a daily basis, or as like, even like tourists, how people can be more responsible and sustainable. And, and yeah, I think, 
you know, we've grown regionally and I think, I think we'll, I think we'll continue growing. So. Samantha, congratulations with Oja Nueva and Wildcat. Thank you so much. Thanks for having You're me. You're welcome. Cuídate mucho. <laughs>